Well, thanks a lot, Bob. So the Yankees sweep. The Blue Jays have a good homestand. They take four out of five and right on the heels of, of winning 11 in a row before losing the final in Toronto. So things are rolling for the Yankees. have the best record in baseball. And, Paul, we'll start with you. It's so important to win division games. We mentioned in last night's broadcast that the Yankees had the same record as the Red Sox last year. But the fact that they lost 10 of the 19 games just by one game, that playoff game, that wild card game was at Fenway Park. So taking six out of nine so far against the Blue Jays, that's big. And you don't see them again until June. Yeah, and it's also important to play well at home. I, I always look back at, uh, you know, owning your own field. You play 81 games in Yankee Stadium. The Yankees are playing well. They stole the game last night, no doubt about it. They came out, to, and the pitching you can't give enough credit to. I mean, today we went over in the pregame. If the Yankees score five runs, which they did today, now they are 13-0 and when they score five runs, and that's an impressive stat. And if you want to continue to build over 500 and continue to have a great great record you continue to win series the Yankees have won seven straight series it's not that complicated you win series you're going to end up winning the division absolutely and winning series in your division is is really crucial and key you know having a two-game set you know getting a split or winning the set is really important not only is it important for the division but it's important for team confidence you know when guys are still scuffling here and there a little bit but also other teammates picking them up that's what it's about and it keeps the confidence going it keeps the morale high and it keeps the, the energy up, and it makes you look forward to these trips coming up like like the one in Chicago. All right, so today's hero was Glaber Torres with five runs batted in. And, Paul, as long as we've worked together and Glaber Torres was on the team, you always preach, go to right field, stay up the middle. Right field got him a three-run home run. Up the middle got him a two-run uh, single. Yeah, big day. I mean, five RBIs, but the adjustment he made on the three-run homer, I mean, he got into the plate early in that account and was looking to pull and then made an adjustment to go the other way and just happened to pop one into seats. But, you know, Glaber Torres, to me, we got spoiled early when uh, he hit a bunch of home runs, and sometimes I don't know if that's the best thing that ever happened to him for his career. He is such a good hitter when he stays in the middle of the field and he just uses his approach instead of trying to do a little too much at times. And the Yankees pitching again did its job Tyone had an outstanding outing and Clay Holmes I believe he's coming to seven possible double play situations and he's gotten four double plays which is amazing I think the major league average is 10 so this guy's doing what he has to do and Chapman figured it out in the ninth yeah they need Chappie to be that guy they need Chappie to know that they can you know really rely on him to get big outs and not make the game so close at the end uh, but Jamison Tyone great job today getting out of that first inning get, only giving up one run was a huge part of why I think the Yankees were able to, you know, still have that momentum and still have that uh, ability to come from behind today. So great job from him. Clay Holmes is a, a ground ball waiting to happen. Like I said, he throws 97 mile per hour, just bowling balls up there. Even when you try to, uh, you know, try to get him there, he still gets ground balls. So, you know, what they're doing out of the pen, Michael King back on back looking like himself today. Uh, so that was a, a great sight for the Yankee staff. I mean, all around, you can't say enough about how well this pitching staff has, has, has been throughout the season. Paul, I can't prove it. But, you know, just over the years traveling with teams, it seems like the distance to the next city is a lot shorter when you win. So the Yankees fly to Chicago after this one. They start a four-game set and then four games against Baltimore. So eight-game road trip, and uh, they have to be feeling pretty good about things. Well, travel days always go a little bit smoother when you have a good day, and especially when you beat Toronto two in a row. And I don't know what it was, Michael. Every time we won and I got on a plane, I seemed to win money in the card game. So good luck, boys. And then you also reached under the uh, the, the seat and had a Domino's pizza, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. So anyway, the Yankees with a successful homestand. Now they go out on the road looking to continue to build on this great start, Bob.